Jeff Fischel here for the ACC Digital Network with J.R. Reed. I'm here in the mothership, J.R. Via satellite, no, just via Skype. J.R. Reed here to talk about Miami and Marquette in the Sweet 16. First of all, J.R., the big news, Reggie Johnson will not be playing. He didn't even travel with the Canes. What kind of impact does his injury have on this team? Well, I think we've got to keep it in perspective here a little bit, Jeff. You know that in the ACC tournament, Reggie didn't have his best games. I thought he labored a little bit and laboring into the NCAA tournament as well. Then lo and behold, we found out he got the knee injury, but he tried to tough it out. But listen, Miami's gonna be okay. The emergence of Ryan Brown on the perimeter gives them a perimeter player now, adds another dimension, keeps floor spaces. So when they do go with Julian Gamble or Kenny Codge, you have the other big that gives them good spacing and attack and gives Shane Larkin the room that he needs to probe and dig in and try to get into the paint. The Canes are hoping Reggie Johnson will be back for the final four. So if they get two more wins, they could have him back in the lineup. So is that the key for Miami, getting comfortable with that four guard lineup? We've seen a lot from them. I think so, Jeff. And it's, I think not only with Miami uh, game upcoming, but also the rest of the, the, the league. In college, you see a lot of teams going to small ball right now. I think it helps cut down on turnovers. It gives you good floor spacing. And teams that have a perimeter-oriented perimeter offense are going to gain an advantage from this. You've got capable scorers out there handling the ball. Now, we know Marquette does this as well. They spread the floor. Who's the one guy you're watching for from Marquette? Wow. I like him because he's a great player and he's got a cool name, Vander Blue. <laughs> this guy has been getting it done for Marquette, putting them in the situation that they are in now. Marquette is not known for the three point shooting. They're usually really tough minded, great defensive team, but they've been knocking down the three ball. But they're, they hang their hat on penetration, getting to the cup, as you mentioned, Jeff, and they have to do a good job of containing this or it's going to be a long, long afternoon. When I talked to Coach Larnega, that's exactly what he said. He's more concerned with the penetration than with the three point shooting. All right, JR, we love playing this game. Fill in the blank. Miami wins if. Miami wins if Shane Larkin gets to the paint. Uh, that Illinois was able to keep him out of paint, made it tough, going tough for him early on. But if he can manage that pick and roll, if he can get into the guts of the defense to collapse the defense and return and then find a three-point shooters on the perimeter, Miami has a good chance of winning. The Canes have had a special season. We'll see if it can continue Thursday night against Marquette. You're watching the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.